me for life. Yeah. Ooh, I don't need a handhold, even when the night is cold. I got that fire in my soul. Okay, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my eye primer. This is something that I do in every single video. Um, I need to prime my eyes because I have super oily eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just putting this on my lid. Now this has no color. Um, in previous videos I've used the Eden Primer Potion but this is um, colorless. So I will be putting another primer over this to get rid of any discoloration on my lid as my eyelids are really veiny. Um, now I'm going to be applying the NYX eyeshadow base in the skin tone color yeah it's in the skin tone color and i'm just going to apply that with a random brush and again this is just going to get rid of any discoloration i have on my eyelids if you can get away with just using max paint pots on their own like um painterly or soft ochre then do that but i need to do this two-step process because Paint pots still crease on me. That's how oily my eyelids are. Like, I need something like an Urban Decay Primer Potion because that's the only thing that really helps the oils on my eyelids not seep through my makeup. Also, priming your eyelids for prom, if you're going to be wearing this makeup for prom, is really important because you want that eyeshadow to stay all day. Now I'm going to take a skin tone colored eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the one from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm just going to apply that directly onto my lid. This is going to just set the primers that we just used. Now I'm going to be taking the lightest brown in the Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to be putting that directly into my crease with a big fluffy brush. And this is going to act as our transition shade. Again, I do this in every single video. So this is nothing new. But just make sure that you really blend this color and it's nice and seamless. And um, this is going to kind of peek through the other colors that we are going to apply. Okay, once you've applied that, you're then going to want to go in with a pretty like reddish kind of warm brown. I'm using Morocco by the Anastasia palette in the World Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. And this is a beautiful warm brown shade. And this is just going to add some depth to my eye um, and again it's going to seep through the other colors that we are going to apply um, if you are going to actually be doing this makeup for prom you don't have to use the exact eyeshadows that I'm using um, Morphe brushes is a great brand to use if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a bunch of eyeshadow palettes um, they have so many colors and so many palettes to choose from, so um, if you don't want to purchase the eyeshadows that I'm talking about today, you could totally purchase the palettes from there, and they're like only like 20 something dollars, and if you are a makeup artist, you can actually get a discount. Um, you do have to get approved to be a pro member, um, but um, once you get approved, you get 20% off their products, so it's a really good deal okay so now I'm going to start deepening up the crease a little bit more and I'm going to take the color fudge in the same Anastasia palette with a smaller brush and I'm going to add this to the outer part of my eyelid on the lower part of my crease so right about there and I do have hooded lids so I do take my shadows a little bit higher than others just because my eyelids kind of hide shadow because when I look straight my skin hangs over the eyeshadow so I do take it a little bit higher so you can kind of see the actual shadow I'm actually going to take 
some powder. This is for by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply it right underneath my eyes. Um, and just having this excess powder there will help with fallout. Once, if I get any fallout from the lid color, I can just dust it away with the powder. So that's a little trick if you're doing looks with a lot of dark colors. Put a little extra powder underneath your eyes. That way when the eyeshadow falls, it's not going to get stuck to your foundation. It's just going to fall into the powder and you can dust the powder away with the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to use this to blend all the eyeshadows that I've already applied. And this is just going to make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the lid color, which is one of my favorite parts. And I'm going to be using the color Metallic from the Anastasia palette. It is this gorgeous goldish green shade. I'm going to load my brush with that product, and then I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. For those of you that don't know, applying Fix Plus to your brush with eyeshadow just helps foil the eyeshadow. And by foiling, it basically just makes the eyeshadow way more intense and it gives you the most color payoff from the eyeshadow. Um, any product with glycerin in it will help your eyeshadows foil. If you don't have Fix Plus or you don't want to spend the money on Fix Plus, um, you can use eye drops. Eye drops have glycerin in, it, glycerin in it, so they help the eyeshadows foil as well. So, um, But the only thing that some people think that they can just use water and that will not foil the eyeshadow, um, you definitely need eye drops or Fix Plus. So I'm going to press this onto my lid and as you can see, it is such a beautiful color. Um, there is a dupe for this eyeshadow. If you, are again, don't want to spend the money on the palette from Anastasia, which I do suggest you do because it is such a beautiful palette. But ColourPop has a color that's very similar in the color Telepathy, I think it is. Um, it was made by Kathleen Lights, who is a YouTuber, and um, it's very similar color to this one, and their eyeshadows are only like $5, so if you want this color, I would definitely check out the ColourPop dupe. So I'm just pressing this onto my eyelid, and I am not sweeping it, I am pressing it, because that is going to help give you the best color payoff, like I had mentioned. And I'm leaving this inner corner kind of blank because I'm going to be putting another color um, in there. Now when I move on to the second eye, I'm going to give my brush another little spritz. Nothing too crazy though because it is still pretty damp from the other side. Again, I'm just going to take that same brush that I used before to blend out. The eyeshadows and I'm going to blend again. I'm just going to blend kind of in this inner corner to get rid of any harsh lines from the eyeshadow I just applied. It's important to blend pretty much in between each step um, rather than waiting till the end to blend everything because then you'll just have like a huge mess. Now I'm actually going to deepen up the crease even more. And for that, I am going to use Noir from the Anastasia palette. It is just a true black color. I would be very careful with this color as it is so pigmented. Um, so definitely be careful with it and use a very light hand. And I am going to put this in the outer corner of my eye, keeping it lower than all the other shades I already applied up here. Then I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used to apply the color Fudge. And I'm going to blend the outer edges of the black with the leftover color that was already on this brush. I'm sure you guys already noticed that in the, in the beginning of the video I already had my eyebrows and foundation and concealer on. Um, and that is because I do plan on doing a separate video all about the proper makeup to use for photography because obviously on prom day you take a lot of pictures 
and if you don't have the right face makeup that can really make a difference i mean nothing is worse than using a foundation that gets flashed back in a camera and by that i mean a lot of foundations have spf in them and certain foundations that have a high spf will have a flashback when you use a flash on a camera meaning you'll get a white cast over your face and your face will look way paler than the rest of your body and also certain setting powders also give off a flashback so if you're going to be doing like full-on makeup for your prom yourself and you're not getting it done professionally definitely practice um a you know a week or two before because and take a lot of photos with flash photography to make sure that it looks okay um the last thing you want is to be have this beautiful makeup and then when you take a bunch of pictures um on prom day it comes off you know super bright and you know you have flashback and all of that that's that would be the absolute worst so definitely make sure you you practice and take flash photography if you're not going to be getting your done your face makeup done professionally um most professional makeup artists should be aware of that, so if you get your makeup done and you're still getting a flashback, I would not go back to that person. And if you're in North Jersey, um, contact me because maybe I could do your makeup for prom. So anyway, back to the eyeshadow. I'm just blending the um, blackouts again with the brush that I applied fudge with. Okay, so now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to use the color Lemon Drop by MAC Cosmetics. No, is it Lemon Drop? Let's see. Yeah, it's Lemon Tart. Sorry, it's Lemon Tart. And it is a beautiful color. When you look at it in the pan, it's like, eh, whatever, like what's so great about that color? But I really love it. It's actually really really beautiful again I'm going to spray my brush with fix plus and I'm going to focus this on the inner corner of my eye this color complements the um, metallic color from the Anastasia palette so so well I love these two colors together this is basically like a lighter more yellow version of the color that we put on the lid and it has a beautiful shimmery sheen to it and again I'm putting this in the inner corner on the tear duct and I'm also running it on the inner corner of my my lid um, if you want you can actually apply a little bit of this in the center of the lid as well and this is just going to help pop your eyes a little bit more um, and make that metallic shade look even more uh, metallic, I guess. Okay, once I have that done, now I'm going to move on to liquid eyeliner. If you don't feel comfortable with, with a winged liner, you can do want eyeliner without a wing, or you can just skip eyeliner together, all together, and put on eyelashes, but I think the wing eyeliner really complements the look nicely. So I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to create a pretty dramatic wing. I don't really know how to not create a dramatic wing. Like I always end up with big winged eyeliner. That's just my style. That's what I like. Obviously it's not for everyone, but it's what I like. So isn't as precise as I would like it to be so I'm just going to take a concealer brush with some leftover concealer on it from when I carved out my brows and I'm just going to clean up the wing okay once your winged eyeliner is put on um, now I'm going to apply some crayon eyeliner in the waterline. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner 
and I'm just going to put this directly into the waterline. And by waterline, I mean the uh, like wet part of your eye um, above your eyelashes. Not everyone knows what I mean when I say waterline. Like I've said it to clients before and they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> um, yeah, it's inside your eye. You know, you can put eyeliner inside your eye. That's pretty much where it, that's where it's meant to go. Um, some people think you can only put it on the lash line, but you can put it inside your eye. And I'm going to make sure I drag this a little bit onto the lash line as well, but focusing it on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take a flat definer brush and I'm going to take that color Noir again and I'm going to set that eyeliner. Okay, once you've set that, then you're going to want to use a warm brown again. I'm going to be using Fudge and Morocco to blend this color out this noir color out. You don't want that harsh line. And I'm just using a pencil brush for this. I'm going to take the color Lemon Drop again, or Lemon Tart. I keep messing it up. And I'm just going to just kind of fix the inner corner. Now it's time for lashes. I'm going to be applying the Kiss, um, I don't know the style. This is what they look like, all I know. Um, I got this at Walmart, I believe. Um, it comes with five pairs of eyelashes. It's a really good price. I remember it only being like six dollars or something like that. Um, but they're really long and dramatic, but I think they would go really well with this look. And yeah, I'm going to apply these and then I'll be right back to finish the rest of my face. Okay guys, so I applied my lashes, which by the way, um, if you are going to be wearing makeup for prom, dramatic makeup like this, I mean, um, I definitely suggest wearing false, false eyelashes. I know some people are a little scared of them because they aren't the most comfortable things in the world if you don't put them on exactly right. But they make a huge difference in photography. Um, they really open up your eyes. But just make sure you get something that's a little bit more wispy and on, and on the natural side. Don't get like 3D mink eyelashes if you've never worn <laughs> eyelashes before because they may look a little crazy. But like the ones I just showed you by Kiss are a great option. But anyways, I'm going to start on my skin and I need to contour and bronze up my skin. So I'm going to be using my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And I'm just going to use a brush like this and I'm going to use the middle and first shade here. And I'm going to really get my brush in those two dust them off and I'm going to kind of bronze up my skin. I'm not going to necessarily contour yet. I'm just bronzing up the skin and I guess you consider these two shades like transition shades for my contour. Just like you use transi transition shades on the eyes. So I'm just applying this on my cheekbones. Um, I'm going to apply them on my forehead. and my nose and chin. Now I'm going to take a more precise brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. I'm going to take the darker shade in the palette. I'm going to knock off any of the excess and I'm going to concentrate this in the hollows of my cheeks. So right where that you feel that indentation in your face, that's where you want your contour to go. I'm also going to apply that darker color a little bit on my temples and take what's left again on my nose and chin. Now 
for blush, I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics Daisy Duo. I used to use this all the time. It's one of my favorites. It has a nice matte pink blush and then a beautiful highlight, which is um, what I'm going to use as my highlighter as well. So I'm just going to take this on a brush. Again, always tap off the excess and apply this right onto my cheeks. Okay, so for the highlight, I'm actually going to spray my brush with Fix Plus again. I'm going to get the product on the brush and then spray it. This is just going to make sure the highlight is more intense. Um, I don't know. I just, I really like the way it applies the highlighter. Um, it makes it so it's not like powdery and it's more of like a kind of liquidy consistency, if that makes any sense. I am going to apply a little bit on my nose, a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And my Cupid's bow. Alright, so last step is lips. I am going to take off my chapstick. Okay, so for lips, um, I personally feel like a nude would look best with this, but you can wear whatever you want. I just feel like a nude will kind of balance the look out since the eyes are so dramatic. Um, I've used this probably in a few videos now, but this is like my favorite lip liner. It's the Endless Lip Liner by LA Girl, and it's in the color Coco, and I'm just going to line my lips with this. Okay, once I've lined my lips, I'm then going to go in with my Milani lipstick in the color Nude Cream. This is one of my favorite drugstore nude colors. It's a beautiful lipstick, and the packaging is super cute. Um, again, it's by Milani, and I use this on a lot of clients as well. Now make sure you really blend the lip liner and lipstick together. You don't want like a harsh line. Okay, and now I'm going to apply a gloss. And I'm using the Makeup Forever Plexi Gloss in the color 101. It is a true nude gloss. Um, but I really like these glosses. They are a little bit on the thick side, but they stay in place really well. And they are pretty glossy, which I like. I like a really glossy lip gloss. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it for my prom makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't worry, I will be doing others. If this is way too dramatic for you, I will be doing a really much more natural look um, for you natural girls out there. I'm definitely not one. I like a lot of makeup. <laughs> um, I For prom, you know, I wore, you know, a smoky eye and a nude lip, so I kind of wanted to do something that was a little bit more dramatic. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!